fight report. It's being talked about across the whole country. You don't know how proper for it. You gotta know who you're hiding like. Jim Belcher! It's you who decides what kind of man you're gonna be. One challenge, one fight. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 boxing drama Prize Fighter The Life of Jem Belcher, a film that is directed by Daniel Graham and it stars Matt Huckings as Jem Belcher, who also wrote the film, I believe, and it also stars Ray Winston and Russell Crowe. Now, the film is set at the turn of the 19th century, um, boxing obviously it was a very very brutal sport at the time and it tells the rise um, of Jem Belcher uh, initially we see him as a young boy his grandfather is played by Russell Crowe who in himself was a renowned fighter um, he's not really a great influence on the young Jem um, but he grows up to be a talented fighter also he is spotted by Ray Winston who plays Bill War um, a boxing trainer, spots his talent, takes him under his wing and takes him right to the top of the championship of, UK, of the UK. Um, it essentially tells the rags to riches, riches tale of Jem Belcher and the rise and fall, if you like, of Jem Belcher. Right, what are my thoughts on this film? Well, this film is an Amazon Prime film. You can watch it right now on Amazon if you've got a Prime membership. Um, this is. I saw a trailer for this a few months ago. I thought it looked decent. I mean, the, I was initially interested because I saw Russell Crowe um, like advertised as being part of the film. And regardless what you think of Russell Crowe these days, you know he's you know he's still uh, can be a bit of a draw really for a film. So I was intrigued, knowing nothing about Jem Belcher. Now I'm not really what you would describe as a boxing connoisseur. Um, you know, obviously like. Probably many of you watching this review, you know, I've followed a little bit of boxing over the years, but Jem Belcher is not a name I've ever heard of before uh, because I'm not a boxing historian in any way, shape or form. So I was interested to learn more about this guy from watching this film. However, unfortunately, one of the things this film does the worst is actually give us like a detailed... Um, biography of this character it actually feels like a film that has been written um you know not about a real person and the reason why i say that is it follows a very similar pattern um to most boxing films or a lot of sports films in general um it's like a rags to riches story um then you, he kind of loses it all and then kind of rises up again sort of thing um so i don't know how accurate this film is based on here this guy's life jem belcher i suspect they've you know taken a few um um steps to kind of you know embellish it for a hollywood or whatever you want to call it um it just wasn't a particularly interesting story i didn't feel as though i learned an awful lot about this character from from watching this film um it gives you a few facts at the end of the film when you've watched it you know writing across the screen giving you a few more facts about jem belcher um so on and so forth the youngest champion ever or the, how old he was when he died and he was tragically young when he died um and, and i think another thing this film gets wrong is you're not sure what time period it's set over and what i mean by that is we meet this jem belcher he he gets spotted by Ray Winston, trained up to be a fighter. He has a few quick fights, and then, boom, he's thrust into the limelight in London, fights the champion, becomes champion, then he becomes the toast of the town, and then, you know, um, he kind of wallows in his own fame sort of thing, as you would expect with this sort of film. But you don't know how long it's stretched over. Is it, is it months? Is it years? It feels like years, but I'm not really sure. Uh, because it, it kind of transitions from at the begin the fights he was having at the beginning are like uh, he doesn't wear gloves and there doesn't seem to be like time restrictions not like there is traditionally in boxing that we know today and then the fight he has right at the end when he's trying to reclaim his title sort of thing they're now wearing gloves um, and there's like the the rounds are timed now 
Um, so it doesn't give us any information, you know, about um, what time period it was when the rules changed and how how long how long a period over Jim Belcher's life is this film portrayed. Um, so it, it doesn't feel particularly factual. It, like I say, it feels like a traditional boxing script almost that is based on a real person, but doesn't feel like it's based on a real person. However, saying all that, the film has got some really excellent, produ excellent production values. It looks the part. There's some great performances here by especially Ray Winston, who I think is excellent. And Russell Crowe, disappointingly, is only in the film for maybe 30 minutes, something like that. And he's pretty good when he's on the screen playing this almost likeable rogue. Um, but he's playing Jen Belcher's grandfather. Um, so, yeah, he's not in it a great deal. And there's plenty of fighting in the film, you know, in regards to the boxing at the time and all that kind of stuff. But it's also a very predictable film in the sense of you can pretty much um, figure out how it's going, how the film's going to turn out for the most part, as these sports films always tend to be set in a, set a similar way. Um, so yeah, it's it's very watchable, don't get me wrong, um, and it feels very authentic in many, many ways, and I do think Matt Huckings does a decent job as Jim Belcher, um, and I think it's, it's either his first role or one of his first roles, and like I say, I think he wrote the film as well, so it's obviously a bit of a passion project maybe for him. And, it, and I think people who like boxing or sports films, there's quite a lot here for you to enjoy. Just don't go into this maybe expecting an, a, a factually accurate portrayal um, because it didn't feel like it was that, certainly, to me. But I enjoyed my time with it, certainly. Uh, it's certainly very, very watchable, especially if you've got an Amazon Prime account and you're looking for something a little bit different to watch. I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this review. I will be back with plenty more content on the channel very, very soon.